reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. Now, I told y'all yesterday on how the Biden administration, specifically Joe Biden, has actually pledged to send half a billion vaccine doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine abroad to poorer nations. So 500 million, and that's a lot of doses. And he said actually that there's no strings attached, there's no sort of concessions or anything like that. This is the end of virus, period. However, under the sanctions that the United States has against Venezuela, no doses will actually be going towards Venezuela. And um, you know, Jorge Are Areaza, who's actually the uh, the health administrator over there in Venezuela, says like this demonstrates U.S.'s hatred towards Venezuelan people. Keep in mind that Venezuela says they haven't even be been able to get the COVAX vaccines due to their financial payments not being accepted due to um, due to uh, these sanctions that the United States has against them. So COVAX is the United Nations health plan that's designed to get vaccines to all the poor countries. So. You know what I mean? This is not, clearly, is health is not a priority on a global scale. Green War and graduation. Report out of the New World, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck up and off of this Black Fox News report, man. The Trump administration really was not playing fair, and it just continues to keep on showing. So, the New York Times reported that the Trump administration actually secretly subpoenaed and seized data on two prominent Democrats that were members of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell, and got data on them, their aid staff members and their family members so you know you had adam Schiff calling it a terrible abuse of power and this kind of like you know authoritarian that's nah but um keep in mind the justice department for the trump administration also had put a gag at first off they demanded apple to hand over said data and then put a gag order on the company that so that they couldn't inform lawmakers until last month so now to cast out the bag and you had um them also put up uh, the Trump administration put out a sweeping government probe into government leaks at these news media companies so they investigated data from the Washington Post CNN and the New York Times Green War and graduation this is like some fascist type authoritarian type shit though all right that's what history tells us right Green War and graduation this report out of the new world though the bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black Fox news report so on Capitol Hill yesterday a group of 10 senators actually reached a deal on a 1.2 trillion dollar infrastructure plan which has bipartisan approval this you know the 10 senators are people from both sides of the aisle so you know joe biden has been trying to push an infrastructure plan through but it's kept getting rejected now this this plan that they actually came in agreement to many democrats criticize because they feel like it doesn't do enough for climate change uh, uh Sen massachusetts senator that report on the new world though the bishop grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so over in ethiopia in the tigray region this is northern ethiopia where they're war ravaged you know keep in mind last year uh they had actually went and attacked the military members of the ethiopian government while they were in Tigray, and that set it off. And Ethiopian government ended up uh, invading the local government, and you know there's been a lot of uh, a lot of murder. But right now, uh, the United Nations and international aid groups are warning that there's su they're suffering the worst, the world's worst famine in over a decade. Now, this is actually saying a lot since Yemen has been suffering from food shortages for I don't know how long, so many people under starvation over there, but over here, you have 350,000 people in catastrophic conditions, and then you have millions more that's actually uh, you know, dying for food right now, like acute food shortages. So uh, the United Nations is uh, ordering or trying to get the Ethiopian government to allow humanitarian aid to flow into Tigray, but they probably not having it. They probably don't want to get attacked again, but you know, all, all's fair in war, even though there's war crimes, right? Green War and graduation, though. Report out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. Make sure you check out my mixtape on Instagram, too, man. At still underscore I grinds. The mixtape that keeps on giving. Every post is like a song, and it got hella bars and flows and, you know what I mean, stories and all of that shit on there. I'm telling you, it's fire, one of a kind. You ain't never seen nothing that like, nothing like that in life so definitely support that as i keep giving y'all this real on behalf of bfn uh over in peru i've been telling y'all about the presidential election going on over there between uh pedro castillo he kind of like the people's champ definitely the rural people's champ and then you have uh keiko fujimori who's actually the daughter of former imprisoned dictator alberto fujimori uh but um right now it looks like uh before it was close to call uh castillo has a 71,000 
vote lead over Fujimori. But Fujimori's trying to get 500,000 votes wiped out. An annulment of all those votes. But for, for voter fraud, which he has been accusing of, but offering no evidence. So we'll see how this turns out. She fighting her own... Uh, fighting to stay out of jail her, her damn self because the state prosecutor the uh, state prosecutor wants her to go back in jail in connection to a corruption case. Green War and graduation. Put out the new world the Bishop Brady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. Man, at this point, it's just all out war uh, against the Palestinians by Israel. Like, we need to just accept that and not talk about how they need to reach a peace deal because clearly Israel is not looking for peace. They're looking for war and blood. Even down to the level of on Wednesday, they actually had a raid in Palestine and ended up killing three Palestinians. This was two Israeli military for, uh, force officers that were actually undercover, looking like Palestinians. Ended up killing two military intelligence officers with the Palestinian Authority. So they playing war games. And at the same time, on that same day, you had a raid go on at the uh, Palestinian, uh, at the headquarters of the Palestinian Union of Health Workers Committee. And the Israeli forces ordered that that Ramallah's office actually stay shut down for six months. So you have um, Amnesty International warning that this could have catastrophic effects on Palestine's healthcare system. Like, obviously, Israel doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Green war on graduation, though. Hold on, the new world, though. The Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So over in Israel, I mean, clearly, they have all out war on Palestine. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, pa Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas knows it saying that those two raids that Israeli security forces did that on Wednesday that left two military intelligence officials dead was a dangerous Israeli es escalation. So they know what time it is. And it's been like that for years. Well, Haaretz newspaper in Israel actually released this crazy video that's shocking everybody uh, that goes back to the Negev, uh, the, the, the very prison in um, 2019 where Israeli prison guards were beaten up on uh, were beating, kicking, punching, shackled Palestinians. And then they, they were like throwing them into the pile by the dozens. Like 15 of them actually ended up having to get, go to the hospital. So, you know, it was like, you know, very revealing. And you got um, B.T.S. Salem, is an uh, Israeli human rights group over there saying like, this is a case that this clearly shows that, they, you know, they can't get uh, justice through the Israeli system, they have to go to the international court basically. And uh, because no is no prison guards faced any uh punishment for it, and the warden on duty got promoted after it. Green war on graduation. What other the new world though? The Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. Now, I've been I've told y'all over the years on how they've had these mass imprisonments over in Xinjiang, China, where they've been jailing like thousands, I mean millions actually, of Uyghur Muslims and basically trying to re-educate them, but there's been reports of like they're being tortured and recently uh, you have, and now you have Amnesty International actually saying that uh, and, and accusing China of crimes against humanity for their mass imprisonment and torture of Uyghurs and uh, other Muslims in that country, in the Xinjiang province. Now, you have uh, Agnes Calamard, who's actually the Secretary General of Amnesty International, saying that the Chinese authorities have created a dystopian hellscape on a staggering scale. So, you know, very strong words, um, some type of words that have provoked action. China has defended its policies over there, saying that it's needed to combat extremism. But who's really being extreme? Green war and graduation. Report out the new world though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. I know this dude thought his white privilege was going to get him out of this one. But you got representative uh, for the state of Oregon, Mike Nearman, getting voted to be expelled uh, by other lawmakers in Oregon for his role in the breach that happened on the Oregon State Capitol back in December. There's video of him literally holding the door open, allowing right-wing protesters in there with guns so days before the incident he's actually on a live stream telling the protesters how they could get in giving out his number and all of that like if you're at if you say you're at the west entrance going in the session and text that number right there somebody might exit the door at that entrance so like he's on some sneaky cannabis stuff and uh this happened a couple weeks before the actual u.s capital insurrection on january 6th and uh, you got six California men, including one uh, police chief, being uh, charged with federal conspiracy charges 
for that insurrection, a good chunk of them were connected to the far right three percenters movement. Green War and graduation. For the other new world though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Pops News report, man. Rest in peace to Andrew Brown Jr. That black man, that 47 year old black man that was actually murdered by sheriff's deputies in April uh, in North Carolina. Well, state autopsy actually shows that he was for sure shot in the back of his head. And uh, it also ruled that it was a homicide, which actually matches what was found by an independent autopsy earlier and uh, by what the family says they witnessed in the body camera footage. So there's, a, of course, with last month, the North Carolina prosecutor actually ruled that the shooting was justified and that no officers will be charged for the murder. So, of course, that sparked new calls for there to be uh, a, some justice with this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, man, because at the end of the day, the camera footage shows that he was not a threat at that time. But you know, scary ass police officers, what I said, at least going to be their excuse. You know what I mean? But, you know, with, when, it, when you're dehumanizing another race, you can always use that excuse. Green War graduation. For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Make sure you check out blackfoxnews.com slash music. Definitely, you want to run all of them broadcasts, you know what I'm saying? Let them joints just bang in the background while it's giving you information. But you definitely want to hear that soundtrack to the revolution, a.k.a. Black Fox News presents New World Order. That's on there. There's a couple albums from me and projects as well, you know what I'm saying? It, it'll definitely be worth your, 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 your buck. Stream it, buy it, you know what I mean? Support us as we support y'all. Now... You got the district attorney of Westchester, New York, um, ordering an inf in a, a reopening of two cases where police actually killed uh, black men in New York. Um, one case with, was with Dan Roy, DJ Henry, and another case was a popular one with uh, Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. Rest in peace to both of them. Uh, blessings to their families with uh, Chamberlain, he was actually killed in his own apartment in White Plains, New York back in 2011 when this video went viral where he basically uh, had accidentally triggered his life aid medical alert pendant. This is a former Marine. Within two hours, officers came in there and ended up shooting him dead, though. Green War on graduation. For the other the world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. On Thursday, a bunch of Puerto Rico actually lost power, and this actually was because of a fire at an electrical station. Now, this happens... This was a whole blackout, right? Like, this is days after the United States and Canadian company Luma Energy actually officially took over from PREPA, the Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority. Uh, so now, and, and PREPA got fucked up really bad by Hurricane Maria. And, you know, maybe could have uh, done better if uh, there was some money transferring that was taking place and going right between the United States and Puerto Rico. But uh, I think it... And looking back on it, it might have been some some foul play or some uh, disregard on both sides of that equation. Uh, so, you know, gives a little bit of credit to what Trump was saying back in the day. But however, he still handled that like a pig-headed idiot. But nevertheless, that's what's going down. Green War and graduation. This report out of the world, though. The Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, uh, you have... Um, Joaquin Castro, a Congress member that's actually calling for a federal investigation into a video that was surfaced by Reveal of the Center for Investigative Journalism. And this video actually shows Patrick Diver, Sheriff's Deputy for Bexar County, Texas, uh, tasering the 60-year-old Honduran asylum seeker at the uh, Southwest Key uh, Casablanca shelter in San Antonio, Texas. So um, obviously it plays into the abuse that I, uh, it tends to go underreported in these um, asylum-seeking uh, jails and shelters, but it's definitely there. A lot of abuse there. And, you know, MAGA, for all of that uh, child abuse and uh, child uh, sex assault and all of that, that y'all be standing up for, acting like it's the Democrats doing it, I sure hear y'all quiet when it comes to the reports that come from these kids that's actually crossing the border trying to seek asylum. Well, there's no love for them. They not human, too. Green War and graduation, though.